Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2006. The question is, consider the circuit diagram. The plus circle is nothing but XOR operation. We already know it. The D flip-flop are initialized to zeros. So basically the initial values are zeros. Okay. So the following data, 1001123 zeros is supplied to the data terminal in 9 clock cycles after the value of after passing these values what will be the final result okay so this is a clock based question guys if you ask me okay so these type of questions please don't try to solve them with the diagrams guys because with the diagram with the, the tabular method i think this question might be a bit confused right yes so let us start okay so what they are exactly saying is so in each clock sorry in each one we are having the zeros initially after that, we are pushing our particular data into it. Okay. So, did they give from which MSB to LSB or in which format we are pushing it? The following data, 101, the, for, the data is supplied to the data terminal in a 9 clocks. After the value of Q0, Q1. Okay. So, they did not say in which order. So, let us push in the same order, guys, from MSB to LSB. Okay. Yes. If option is not matching, we will be checking the other way. If that option is wrong, so let us look into it. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So basically, according to me, we should push in that way only. Okay. Yes. So first we will push this one. Okay. So this zero, this zero. Okay. Okay. So the, in the next step, so one is pushed. So in the next step, we will push a zero. But he, from here, you will be getting one, one, right? So one XO, sorry, zero XOR one is one. So one will be the thing here. Okay. So this zero has been pushed. So again, one more zero will be pushed. So that zero will be coming here. Okay. So that zero will be coming here. And again, this zero will be XOR with this last value. So XOR this with last value and write it in between guys. That's the trick. So zero XOR zero is zero. And you move this one value here. Okay. So let us continue. So we are done with this zero also. So now moving on to one. Okay. So you will perform in between XOR these two. So the result is a one and you will push this value here. That is zero. Nice. Similarly, moving on. Okay. So after that, you are going to push a 1 again. Okay. So 1 XOR 0 is again 1. So again, you will push this value here. That is a 1. Nice. So that two ones are done. So now moving on to, there are total four zeros, guys. So the first zero. Okay. So the first zero, you will perform 1 XOR 1. So the result is 0. And this one is pushed here. Nice. And the second zero. It's visible, right? Yes. The second zero. So this zero with the one, one XOR zero is a one and this zero is pushed to this side. Okay. So let me take a small piece of paper so I can just attach it here rather than doing it somewhere, right? Yes. So again, I'll be taking a zero, the third zero. Okay. So again, XOR between these zero and this zero, we will get a zero only and this one is pushed here. Okay. Okay. So at the end, okay. So at the end of the last fourth zero will be pushed here. Okay, means uh, this zero and this zero, sorry, this zero and this one XOR is one and this zero is pushed here. So at the end, we got zero, one, zero as the result. Sorry, I think it's visible now, right? I think, uh, I. okay, sorry for that, guys. Okay, so anyway, let us continue. So, where, so let us continue from here. So at the end, we pushed one zero here, right? Yes. So you compared this with this. So zero XOR zero is zero. Okay, so you pushed this one from here to here. Okay, so in the last step, that fourth zero, the last fourth zero is a zero. So that zero is pushed. So then you compared this zero XOR with this zero, you got one and this zero has been pushed. So after nine o'clock, the final result which we got is a zero one zero. So is that in options? Yes. So C is the correct answer. Got it? It's a quite easy question. The only thing is you should concentrate while doing these questions, guys. Because if you do a small silly mistake, you will end up with some other answer. And 99% of the time, that answer will be in the options, guys. Okay? Yes. So that is the reason why I always concentrate while doing these problems. Okay? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.